Hey guys, it's Lenny from LEC Reptiles. This is going to be a how-to video. Pretty much we're going to talk about how to set up your incubator. Pretty much a homemade incubator. Uh, what I have here is a 100-quart cooler. Uh, the 100-quart equals 40 gallons. So I can fit a couple of 6-quart tubs in here. Maybe possibly about 2 or 3 uh, 15-quart tubs if you're working with a, a larger clutch. Uh, what you're going to need pretty much, of course, the cooler. Uh, some flex rod heat tape. You guys can also use... um. Some deli cups on the side and actually put water in here and run a, a fish heater. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to run the heat tape uh, with some, but the helix has a dermostat. So I'm pretty much going to show you what you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need some heat tape. Um, right here is the heat tape. You're going to need uh, at least two feet of a 11 inch uh, flex watt. Uh, in this case, I have two uh, one foot each of 11 inch flex watt heat tape. So I taped that down. There already came with the cords and the plugs. Um, pretty much where. The, the drain the draining system is you gotta pretty much cut that out um, run your wires through pretty much all your helix wire which um, I don't think I'm gonna put, be able I don't think I'm gonna need to have to put the helix wire through here but the heat tape wire of course gonna run through here and then you're gonna have your case of the water bottle uh, there's about 35 uh, bottles in here you're probably gonna maybe use about half of them maybe a little less than half it only cost me about ten dollars so that's not bad neither. Uh, the cooler cost me 40, so that's 40, plus the 10 is 50. Uh, what are you going to use for a dermostat? You want to use a good dermostat. You don't want to use those little cheap dermostats at all because um, it can um, not work that good. And we're going to be um, heavy temperatures all whacked out. And of course, if you're breeding all year long, you want your eggs to actually have a chance of surviving. So your best chance of using a good dermostat. Uh, what I have here is the, the Helix. Um, you can use the, the herb stats. I like the Helix when it comes down to incubating um, eggs. So hopefully it's going to do really well this year. Also, you got the egg crate, um, which is also hold for light fixtures, which I'm going to show you. I'm going to put down the water bottles, lay on the top, and have my uh, tubs on top. All right, guys, stay tuned. Hey, guys, the whole incubator is finished, set up, and completely done. Let me show you what I did, what I've done, and how it looks, and pretty much all the little details that you might need after I show you the little basic setup. All right, uh, right here, I put the helix on, on the side. Uh, if you guys know anybody, he looks has sticky tape on the back of it. So pretty much I just peeled the stickers and stuck it on the back. So that's a good little spot. If you guys don't know how the helix works, I have a video on that. I'll explain a little bit right now. There's a button right here. Pretty much press and go. Uh, you're going to hold down this button. I'm not going to hold it down because right now it's perfect temperatures. But you can hold down this button and it'll shoot up uh, 91, 92, 93. It actually shoot up all the way to 110. When you reach 110, you keep your finger on it if you want. It'll go back down to 65 and work your way back up. Right now, I got it at a nice 90 degrees. If you guys can look over here, it's on 88.8. .8. So right now, it's hitting really, really good. Perfect degrees, perfect temperatures and everything. Um, of course, I'm going to open it up. It's going to fluctuate the temperature a little bit because it's opening up and losing the heat. But I'm going to make this video for a purpose to show you guys. So I don't mind right now because there's no eggs in here anyway. Uh, pretty much, you're going to open it. Um, right here I have my probe, which is taped with the, um, heat tape, not the heat tape, the, um, aluminum tape. That's why I use aluminum tape. It looks really good to stick down stuff. Um, as you can see, I put all the water bottles in here. I got the egg crate. Got the, um, the egg tub where I put the, tub, the eggs in it. Uh, pretty much I've been fluctuating this tub back and forth, you know, every couple, um, hours from the left to the right. Uh, leaving it over here, leaving it over here, leaving it over here, and then leaving it over here. So it's pretty good because right now from from left to right it's sitting at 88 to 90 along with the temp the, the probe there. Um, pretty much the whole thing is constant 100% working correctly. Um, so I have a past I have a spider a spider female which uh, just had a pre lay shed. She's actually going to be shedding in a couple um, probably about a week or so. So from the countdown 24 to 30 days, hopefully I get a nice big uh, healthy clutch. And um, my past still actually avalades so. She'll be on the free lay um, shed soon, and we'll have a nice clutch. Um, pretty much very simple, guys. Um, without the Helix, it's probably cost me around maybe sixty dollars for everything. Um, so with the Helix, it costs one dirty. But the Helix is a great investment anyway. Even if you're not using it for an incubator, you use it for a nice rack system. So it's a perfect uh, investment to have anyway. Uh, of course, you're gonna want to have um, some of these. These could probably cost around ten dollars in my pet store, but you could probably definitely pick it up at an expo for. Maybe five dollars, six dollars. You're gonna need them because you really want to know your temperature in the, in the egg box as well, not only from the helix. All right, guys, the LSU reptiles. Hope this uh, explains how to set up a homemade incubator. As always, have a good one. Bye.